What's good everyone, welcome back to the channel. So a lot of comments that I see every single day on Reddit, on my videos, even on Twitter, so many people ask me, dude, I have an iPhone 6S on iOS 10. I have an iPhone, you know, 8 on iOS 12. Should I update this and that? Everybody wants to know whether they should update their older phones to the newest iOS version that they support. And what I can tell you right now is without a doubt, if you own an iPhone 11, if you even own an iPhone 10s, a 10R, those specific iPhones, I would probably tell you to update to the latest version. Most of the time, these newer software versions are meant for these newer phones are being developed for those newer phones. And then they make sure there's no bugs on the older versions as well. From as far as I know, that's pretty much how they develop these softwares. They're not making it specifically for these older phones. They're making it for the newer ones because that's where the power's at. That's basically their main demographic that they're kind of focused on. So if you own one of those specific newer phones, of course, update. But for the older generation of iPhones, before what I would tell you, even if last year, I would tell you pretty much stay where you're at if it's stable enough, if you're on iOS 12.3 or if you're on iOS 11.2 or whatever, stay where you're at. There's really no point on updating, especially within that iOS 11, iOS 12 phase because yes, iOS 12 was more stable, but there were still some bugs here and there and there were jailbreaks out for iOS 11. So I was like, if you want to maintain that jailbreak or even have the option of jailbreaking in the future, stay on the lowest version you can. But as of right now, as of recently, you guys already know that with that check rain jailbreak, you can realistically jailbreak any version of iOS from from the first version of iOS that your phone supported on to the latest version of iOS that your phone supported on. So that is a hardware jailbreak. That is not something that, you know, Apple can patch relatively easily. So with that being said, before I would definitely tell you, dude, stay on your version. If it's stable, stay on it. There's really no features that are worth updating if it's worth, you know, being having a super buggy OS and all that. But as of right now, what I would tell you is I would recommend everyone that has an older iPhone to pretty much go to the latest version of iOS, you know. Yes, there's some bugs here and there. There's so there's still some stability issues, but that's really going to happen on any version of OS, especially with versions if you're still on like iOS 11 or iOS 12, putting aside the iPhone 5S and iPhone 6 because you can go on the latest version of iOS 12, which is 12.4.4 or 12.4.3. Those versions of iOS are fine for those specific devices. Those are still able to be jailbroken, but it's always better to be on the latest version of OS not only because of features, you know, cool things out of like that, but also security fixes we've seen with iOS 11 and iOS 12 since those versions of OS release. We've seen a lot of different bugs come out for phones, people able to hack into your things through text messages, people able to send text messages to you and, you know, break your phone somehow. And with these newer versions of iOS, those have been patched. Those specific problems have been patched. So that's a humongous asset by being on the latest version of iOS. So before I would tell you, you know, stay on the lowest version because of a jailbreak or because of a certain stability issue. But as of right now, I would probably recommend everyone, if you're on the lower version of iOS, if you're on an iOS 11 device or iOS 12 device and your phone supports iOS 13, I would probably recommend updating to iOS 13. The stability issues and everything, they will get better over time, but the security updates in and of itself is worth updating. But also, you are still able to jailbreak if you're between an iPhone 5S or an iPhone 10. All those devices can be jailbroken, which is really, really nice on any version of OS. So there, as of right now, there's really no point in not updating your devices. Like I said, there's some stability issues, there's some issues here and there. But like I've stated, it's always better to have those specific issues and having a secure device than having an outdated device that could potentially lead you into having some security issues, you know, a person trying to hack into your device because it's on outdated software or whatever the case is. And that's a humongous advantage that you guys have with an iPhone or iOS device over an Android device. Those phones, they get security updates here and there, but the security on an iOS device with these software updates that are pushed all the time are much higher on a device like this over an Android. That's kind of everyone knows that. So that's kind of my advice. I get this question a lot. So that's kind of how I would go about doing it. I can't make you do anything, but if I had an iPhone SE or iPhone 7 as a main device every single day I was using it, I would just update it to the latest version of OS. I would still be able to jailbreak if I need to, but the security is just, you know, a big enough update for me to update in and of itself. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully that helped you guys out. If you have any questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit that like button if you guys enjoyed the video, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel, all those things are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.